Hello, it's Andre and welcome to the sixth episode of Impact Action U. In this episode, we'll talk about finding images on the internet. Quite often the situation is that customer asks you to place a certain um, object, engrave a certain picture object on the stone. It can be a guitar, it can be a car of a particular make, it can be some landscape of which your customer just have some vague description or understanding, like give me the field of rye with combine in the distance and tree uh, on the horizon, something like that. So um, it might be a, it might seem to be a trivial task, just going Google, uh, but I promise you it will not be uh, as simple as it sounds and uh, also I promise you that you will learn a couple of very useful tricks in locating image on the internet. What I will not address and what you have to deal with on your own are copyright issues with the images you find because quite often the images you find on the internet are copyrighted by someone and you are kind of legally expected to pay for the use. Quite often the images will have a watermark which tells you what website you need to go to to purchase that particular image. I assume that we all are grown up people and you are able to make a decision on whether to use a particular image without paying or just go and buy it legally. So I will not address that at all, but as far as all the other issues, all the other aspects, I'm going to show them to you right now on my computer. Let's start. So um, the obvious starting point for any image search is Google. So let's just uh, find some, uh, type in something that we're looking for into Google search, fields of Rye, for example, and Google actually returns a lot of results. Obviously, those are web results. We're not interested in web results. We're interested in images. So you click on images, and it's kind of, again, very kind of first primitive, uh, like native, naive step of searching for images. Uh, but you should not stop here. You should go to tools, and at the very least, you should start looking for images that are kind of either large or medium size. Um, because large images means usually that it's um, a lot of pixels and it will look much better when, when engraved. Uh, but that's not it. So let's experiment with something else. So usage right is perfectly uh, like, uh, explainable as copyright, but the type is kind of interesting. You can, for example, choose only images that are clip art or choose only images that are line drawing. Here already you have a bunch of perfectly engravable images. They just need to be reversed and uh, they will look pretty good on stone. So um, that is one uh, option. I mean, always uh, turn on this tools and try to at the very least filter the image by type and by size. You ideally need to start looking at large and medium images. The other less obvious but definitely much better source for images on the internet is a Russian search engine called Yandex. And uh, the reason it's better is because it, it has better tech, it has better technology in terms of searching for images, but also it has better content because this particular website not only searches images on the internet, but it also searches images among its own library, which is community maintained and submitted by uh, a lot of Russian photographers and, uh, I don't know, people from around the world, pretty much. So uh, let's just try the same search, like field of rye, right, in Yandex, and then we click on images. Uh, the thing is, the filters are kind of very well hidden up to the right here. If you see my cursor now, you need to click this, and it allows you it turns on the extended search. And here again, you can only, for example, filter for large images and uh, you can search for um, drawings. 
and it allows you to actually do orientation, which I find very useful. For example, landscape gives you a number of extremely well looking uh, sketches. And uh, if you just invert those sketches, they will already look uh, engrave pretty good. Or, um, I mean, with some creative search, something like, I don't know, I mean, we can try a uh, scratch board. Who knows? It'll work. So you can get some scratch board, or, or you can do uh, black background. Let's try. I don't know. So there's a lot of options with Yandex Search, which I would say in every single case you need to search for some image. Yandex will give you better result than Google because it, it really has a better engine for searching and more images to search. Again, just to show you how to get there, you go to yandex.com, then you click on images, you enter your search term, for example, a tree in the field. And once that search term is entered, just uh, if you don't see filters, click on this obscure and well hidden button called filters. And then you can, um, from there, you can go and uh, filter with um, different criteria. Uh, so that was just the image search. There's a much more interesting function which um, few people know exists and few people use, and that is reverse image search. So if you are in Google Images, uh, there is this button that is, it looks like camera, and that is reverse image search. It's a pretty advanced function which actually applies artificial intelligence to look for the images similar to one that you have uploaded to the search. So let me experiment with that. I'm clicking this, and I want to upload the image that I prepared for this experiment. It's called, um, I'll just use the same image for Google, and for Yandex, so um, this is what reverse search on Google gives me. I'm going to do the same thing on Yandex. Yandex is, by the way, a fantastic site for reverse search. It's actually used for uh, used by criminal investigators to find the images similar to the ones somebody posted on their social feed while committing a crime, uh, and. Uh, it has much better artificial intelligence, believe it or not. Um, and uh, I'm gonna prove this to you. So this is the lighthouse, which I photographed years ago when I think I was in Nova Scotia. And I deliberately reduced the size of this image and uh, reduced the quality. This is the image I was searching for. Notice this distinct top of this lighthouse. And let's just compare Google and Yandex. So Google did recognize, Google AI did recognize that it's a lighthouse and it showed me some lighthouses and actually some cell towers, it seems, but none of them are the same or similar to the one that I uploaded in, in a sense of that distinct red top, maybe with exception of a couple. Now, if you look at Yandex, Yandex reverse image search was actually able to find exact same lighthouse that was on my poor quality photograph. And it actually found much better photograph of exact same lighthouse, New Brunswick. I think that's that's why I took that picture. It's identical lighthouse. So um, no matter what you say, you can never convince me that Yandex is not an absolute master of reverse image search. So whenever they need a rise, use Yandex and you'll be very happy with the results. So to reiterate, you have at your disposal two tools, just the regular search for images, as well as reverse image search. Regular search for image is not much use unless you use filters to uh, filter the images that are, are returned to show you the ones that are higher resolution and uh, potentially of the type that you're looking for. And as far as both image search and reverse image search 
I would totally recommend to use Yandex.com. I hope this episode was useful. Uh, if you think so, please go to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash impact etching and uh, like the page. Then you will be notified of all the other episodes that uh, I'm going to make and submit to Facebook. And also you can go to our uh, YouTube channel and uh, subscribe to our, the playlist uh, that is called Impact Etching U. And uh, to go to our YouTube channel, you just type in youtube.com slash impact etching. And if you are looking for stone engraving machine, in particular for the one that is designed for use in monument industry, uh, go to www.impactetching.com or just page me on Facebook, uh, or leave a message on Impact Etching Facebook webpage and uh, I'll come back to you with more details. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Andre. I'll see you in the next episode.